What's going on guys, me David here back for another shave and oh man, it has been hot. Every day for the past week it's been 95 plus here in California all the way up to 103 in my area. Humid, sweaty, gross, ugh. So um, I went back to work, first week back from uh, to work. I am so grateful to be there. Well, I've got a little bad news. I might get, fur we might get furloughed. So um, who knows? Who, who knows what's going to happen there? I hope it doesn't happen. We shall see. So that was a little disappointing. At least I'm happy to be at work while I am. Jesus, who knows? But with that came um, a little bit of misery. With the first week of work being back, uh, being so goddamn hot, I've been struggling. I've been hurting. I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's, there's, there's no denying it. I have been hurting. Oh, actually, I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Sorry about that. I forgot I had some ribs in the oven just doing the little final finishing off with the sauce. You know, after you smoke ribs and you wrap them, the smoking portion is pretty much done. You can finish them in the, in the oven. No problem. I forgot I had to go turn those off because um, they're already a little farther cooked than I would like. They fall off the bone. Rocio's going to fucking absolutely love them. Uh, I like mine. I have a little bit more bite. I'm learning a new method of smoking, so I got to play with it a little bit. I already know where I kind of went wrong, but that's uh, for a whole nother um, type of video, maybe a whole other channel. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But today, what an exciting, exciting shave today is. Oof. Ay, it's so hot. But today, hopefully, I got something here that's gonna be able to cool me down right here. I got awesome sauce. That's right, PAA awesome sauce. If you guys haven't heard of it yet, this is the the homage to Parazzo Green, and not the soap. The soap is pretty fucking generic. Uh, Eucalyptus, the soap cream. This is actually based on the aftershave. The Perezzo Green aftershave has been one of my favorite for years. Absolutely love it. Douglas thinks he's pulled it off. So I'm here to check it out. Of course, I had to get my hands on it. I love it. It's in the uh, infamous CK6 formula. I'll tell you, off the puck. Off the puck, spot on. Oh, God. So... I kind of cheated a little bit. Once this thing came in the mail, I used it. And not the soap. The soap clearly is still a brand new. I used the aftershave. I'll get to actually, I'll say that to the end. I'll say that to the end. I was going to give you a little bit of info on that. Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait. It's better. It's better that way. And of course, because of, by, uh, based on Prazo Green, I had to use a green brush. Bam! Lancaster with the V1 knot. Fantastic. Gonna go ahead and load this up real quick. Of course, this does have some menthol in it. Uh, probably, it, it's a good amount of menthol. So, but I'll tell you, the scent off the puck, spot on. Couldn't ask for anything else. Gonna load nice and heavy. And CK6, you don't have to load very heavy. I actually want more of that menthol because I don't know if can you guys see it. Whew, glistening. Look at that. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Today, it cooled down a little bit from the last few days. It is a nice and brisk 94 degrees. Fantastic. I, I believe that's what it was the last time I checked. Um, fuck, it's, it's a little bit later in the day. Um, the hottest part of our days here in California are typically around 3 to 4 o'clock. Um, growing up, I always thought it would be like noon. Not the case. 3 to 4 o'clock p.m. is about the hottest of the day. And I do believe it's about five. So it's cooling coming down from the hottest part of the day. But yeah, I think we're at like a brisk 94-ish, 95. <sighs> God. Today, super excited. I'm going to be shaving off of one of my own edges. I've just been a monster this week. I actually sh uh, sharpened three razors this week. Um, if this razor passes the test, this, this one's going to go off to, I believe, uh, Ken Shave 326 for testing. And uh, again, two other ones are going to get tested and those are going to get shipped out. Mary and the Barbarian is going to get one to try out my edges. Uh, it was Ken, Marion. I think there was somebody else that I said that I would send them one to. I can't remember. Probably be Chris Bailey. And eventually, I do want to get an edge to the Stallion. I know we had the game of Hones, but Junior fucking lagged it. He's a bum. Bum! Um, so, I, I don't know whatever happened to it. I don't know if we'll ever do it. But still, I want guys to test out edges. And I hope this one was good. It felt good on the stones. It felt a little test. Look at 
I have no hair on this goddamn arm, which is kind of embarrassing. Well, at least on the top portion. So it's just kind of embarrassing, but I, so I hope it's worth it. I hope it's worth it. I really, really do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the face. Oh. And get into a face lather. Ooh, five minutes in, I haven't even started yet. Son of a bitch. So, oh, oh, overlord. Oh, oh yeah. I just think of, look at that. That is just glue. Again, I didn't need to load so much, but I really wanted that menthol, and I really just wanted to fill the restroom with this Perazzo green scent. And again, I am thrilled to report that this scent is spot on. Be advised, this has more menthol than the original aftershave, though. And that does come into play later on with the aftershave. Oh man, I need a lot of water. Yeah, dude, so again, I apologize. I lagged it a bit all, week, all this week on the videos because of the heat, dude. It is just, again, you see me sweating. You see me sweating today, and today is the coolest day that we've had in the last seven. So if that kind of puts things into perspective for you, this 94 degree day has been the coolest. So that's kind of what we're doing here, and I don't have air conditioning. I'm going to go buy a little fan, probably to keep in here permanently. Just to make these, these shaves... Just a little, little livable, man, because it's rough. You know what? Because it's a scent that I love. I've loved this scent for so many years. Perazzo Green was one of the first aftershaves that I got when I got into the hobby. I'm going to go ahead and let that marinate in there a little bit. You guys remember that? The beard marination. I got the splatters everywhere because I made sure to put a lot of water because I way overloaded. So let's get right into this. My own edge. We'll see. Let's see if I get one of them shave gasms from the first uh, pass. Ken, shout out, shout out, Ken, Shave 326. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think it's good. Again, can't get too excited for the first pass, but oh man, this one feels hella smooth, and it's cutting. Oh, yeah. I think this might be the best edge I've done. Yes, indeed. So this is the first of the three that I've done in the last three days. This is the one I felt the best about. So it may not get better than this, but holy shit, this one's good. Using the whole length of the blade. On the flattest of the flat parts so that I could feel the edge across the whole entire blade. Make sure it's not tugging in any particular spot. That's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. Just getting a little funny angle. Show you, see if you guys can see it better. I notice when I watch some of the uh, when I watch on the premieres with you guys, sometimes the angles could get lost and it's a little wonky. So I'm trying to figure out what would be the best way to get you guys to see the best angles. Just wanted to edge up the the back there. Gotta scoop this up because I don't want to take off any of the length. There you go. Trim that down a bit. Not the length, but it starts growing down my neck a little bit too wild, and so I gotta kind of take that down. Ooh. And I'm actually doing a cold water shave today. 
I never do cold water. Always do hot water. I always feel like my my shaves are incomplete when I do cold water, but it's just too damn hot. There's too much to deal with. Hmm. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. And I'm really going back and forth. Um, I'm sad to say, I'm slightly excited to say that the Dater 2 band is, has followed, has lost its uh, first place spot of my favorite knot in wet shaving. It's still one of them. Love that damn knot. But <sighs> right now, it's between the Lancaster V1 and the Hair Force 1 knot, of which one I like the best. They're fucking great. They're just fantastic. Um, and again, you can't beat the price. It's just love them. This is a good edge, man. This is a good edge. Um, I'm excited to see how some of the other guys uh, feel about it. Um, just because, you know, I haven't had anybody shave off of none of my edges yet. Dude, I like this edge. Jesus. I'm extremely happy with it. There's one issue on the gold dollar that I was uh, using uh, to hone, which was the second one. The shoulder area, I don't think it's ground down enough because I keep hitting something on there and it's making an ugly noise and it's kind of making it real difficult to get all the way to the end uh, of the heel of, of the blade. So, um... I don't know if I need to grind that down. I do have a Dremel and I probably could do a little bit more. But we'll see how the test shave goes. If it's okay, then I'm going to send it out. If not, I might grind some. So on that one, it has a shoulder that comes down here more. So I feel like I'm hitting something along this side. This uh, area right here, they make it just making it be a little wonky. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anthony, if you're watching, the best fucking edge I've done so far. One thing that I have changed is I'm taking even longer to set the bevel. I'm really, really taking the time there a, a lot. Now, and also, additionally, I finally got that slurry stone. Oh, shit. Uh, for the Belgian codicle. So now once I get to the finishing, to that finishing step, I'm doing the slurry. <laughs> doing 20 or so laps on that. And then I'm just going with the, uh, straight under the faucet, clean water. I was thinking maybe I scratched myself there a little bit. Possibly, possibly. So I'm going up to the 8K, then I'm hitting it with that slurry uh, on the cuticle, and then going again, just pure water under, under a running faucet, light running water uh, under the sink. And it's going well. It is going well. At least I think I am. I think it is. Little bit of the menthol got in my mouth. That's a little gross. I, I could do without that, but it is what it is. So. Dude, this is this is like the perfect ideal menthol soap, dude. It is a eucalyptus menthol scent that I've loved for damn near a decade now, but now. And again, I never understood why Perazzo wouldn't put this scent into their soap. It just didn't make any sense to me. Why have a line and they smell different? The This Perazzo Green being somewhat of like a, a eucalyptus barbershop style fucking scent. It's just fucking, it's great, dude. It is so good. I love that, that Perazzo Green so much 
whenever I cut somebody's hair before the pandemic stuff, if I was shaving my boy's head, if I was cutting some hair, I'd do the razor edge ups and everything and Perazzo green because I trust the formula. I love how it reacts to pretty, it pretty much reacts well to anybody's skin I've ever used it on. And the scent, everybody's always loved it. It's always just been, a, it's a very pleasant scent. Um, so it's just, I'm so stoked for it to be in a form that's going to last longer than 15 minutes. And again, I've said it before, tons of times, PAA, my favorite aftershaves on the market. My best edge. Without doubt, this has been my best edge that I've done up to this point. I'm super excited to get this sent out to the guys. Love it. I'm really, really enjoying this. Like, it's probably unreasonable how happy I am right now. It's just... Dude, it's good. This is a blade. But again, I, I also get slightly worried. Oh, yeah, I think I slight. That's how sharp it is. Holy shit. I got like a little small line there. No blood is coming out, but it's a little scratch. I did scratch myself right here. Interesting. Hmm. I don't do that very often. It must be sharp as a bitch then, I think. At least I think. Okay, we'll see. But I'm not picky with edges. Again, I'm one of those people that I've always told people I had no problem ever in my time shaving. Uh, I never had an issue shaving off of a of an all synthetic edge. You know, now we have a bunch of edge snobs that have to have it off of a goddamn J-net and so there's only this and that or whatever the fuck. Um, but I've always been comfortable shaving straight off of a synthetic edge. We're not looking at me over here with my Belgian codicle and shit, but that. Dude. Now I've, I've, I figured out a process that I like, that it's consistently giving me good edges. Again, I think I need to invest more time on the initial steps. I think that's how these edges are going to get a little bit smoother. I think that slurry stone helps. So. Now I'm trying to be consistent in that process. And just really get to know the stones. And really know how I like how a razor feels on them. Before I move on to the next step. And this. This is the first edge that I'm confident to send out to somebody. This edge I flat out like. This edge I flat out, I, I really enjoy actually. But again, I'm not super picky with my edges. As long as they're sharp and comfortable, I'm good. Very nice. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked right now. I'd probably have more energy if it wasn't fucking 100 degrees in, in here. But, you know, last year we are. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off, and we're going to go ahead and get into our final thoughts. So just give me just a bit. All right, and I am back. Got that nice and rinsed off. The cooling effect is still really nice and strong. Um, again, I don't know if it's the strongest thing in the world. I don't have a lot of menthol soaps. Why? I don't know. I just don't. So I can't really compare it to a bunch of them, but the level here is really nice. Now, get into the aftershave, the inspector's aftershave hour. Oh, yeah, Douglas said not to shake new aftershave. Sorry, sorry about that, sorry. Go nice and heavy with the aftershave. Just, ooh, ah, nice, nice burn. Okay, so now my assessment of the aftershave and scent. I do have a little bit of a problem with it. The menthol level is probably two to three times what the original aftershave is. So... The cooling, the cooling effect is fantastic. It's super strong. But because there's so much of that extra menthol, it hides the scent initially. Once the menthol starts to, I don't know, does it burned off? I don't know. Well, once the menthol stops, like, oh, dude, it's so extremely strong. Once the menthol comes off, then you get just that, that the nice Perazzo green scent. And I'm telling you, it does stick around for a while. So you just got to get over that initial burst because it's not... That initial application, you're not going to get the scent as clean because it's such a strong menthol scent. 
Um, but again, once the menthol settles down, the, the regular Perazzo green scent sticks around for a long time. <sighs> Excellent job, Douglas. Um, you got fucking Chris on another label. Here we go. So, Chris, congratulations on being on another label. I think this is uh, number six. Um, you know, love my uh, Chris Bailey uh, labels. So, there we go. I sound a little salty. I know. It's okay. It's okay. No, no. But really, at this point, no soap for me. I don't want one. Don't do it. Any artisan over there. It just... don't. It, 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 the, the time is passed now. The time is passed. I am just going to not have... A, a tribute soap ever I will just probably say no I say that now but then if somebody offers me um, I'll probably say yes Douglas no Douglas is out of the question I will never approve a tribute soap from Douglas because um, he's had his opportunity for years it just never happened so there we are so I got my little saltiness around but nah in all serious man I'm never gonna fucking hate on no on nobody man I'm happy to see I'm happy that fucking Chris bug Douglas enough to make this happen um, I'm thrilled. For those of you guys that don't know or not familiar, me and Chris Bailey were really cr close friends. We talk daily. He's a buddy of mine. I'm happy to have one of his soaps. Even when I don't like scents, I usually buy them if they have my buddies on them. I'm just going to do it. Uh, I talk a lot of shit about not having my own fucking <laughs> my own soap, but I ain't tripping. Legitimately, I'm not tripping off that. And anybody that knows me, no, I'm not a fucking bitch like that. I'm not going to hate on none of the homies for having one. So here we go. Awesome sauce based on Parazzo Green. It is... Douglas hit it off the park. Douglas did a great job. Um, I know other artisans have tried it before and failed and have never released some of the stuff they try to do. Um, I know I've personally asked artisans before and they couldn't they, they couldn't make it happen. So great that Douglas did it. Again, soap off the puck. Smells exactly like Perazzo Green. The aftershave does have a little bit too much menthol initially, so it does cover up the scent a bit. Once that burns off, like the menthol starting to calm down now. And now I'm, I'm getting that scent a bit better. So um, I would actually would prefer less menthol because it's a lot. This is a very intense menthol aftershave. And I think it may be a little bit unnecessary um, because the, what it's based off of isn't that of an extreme menthol, if you guys know what I mean. So if you really want to stay true to it, um, we could lessen it up. But again, poetic license is it, is it, is it called? Is that what it's called? Where, art, where artists can do whatever the fuck they want. In their interpretation of stuff. So it works. It's fantastic though. It is true. Um, Perazzo Green. Like I said. Just let the menthol burn off a little bit. Like again now. At this point. I think I've been talking for like 2-3 minutes. A little long. Um, now the scent is, is pure. So give it about 3-5 to five minutes. And you're going to just get that Perazzo Green scent. Which is fantastic. So here we are. At the 23 minute mark. Where I usually like to. Uh, just. Damn it, if you're still here at this point of the video, just know how much I appreciate you guys, man. Um, these videos, um, I love doing them. Um, I take great pleasure in my interaction with you guys. Um, I love the community. I love what I'm doing here. I hope to be doing these videos for years to come. God willing, I will be, man. But just thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Um, it's a tough world out there, man. It's a lot of crazy shit going on, so... Um, as I always say, man, love one another, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you on the next shave.